to see. Uh, you know, from day one, mm -hmm. I have said that, I mean, there was no other person better than Prof. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you know my position when it comes to Professor Jena no Pokwajiman and the mm -hmm. fact that she should be the running mate for the NDC. The first thing I want to say is the fact that the NDC and its members must understand that they are blessed to have Professor Jena no Pokwajiman in their party. Blessed. Mm -hmm. You see, Prof, we all know, retired at the pinnacle of her career. Okay. And still continues to attract global attention and recognition from academia where she spent her entire um, working life. Okay. People okay. will retire six months, one mm -hmm. year into their retirement and everybody forgets about them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the NDC must understand that mm -hmm. they are blessed to have such a woman in their party. And we know she occupied, I mean, various positions during uh, her career, including being considered worthy to be the first female vice chancellor of the University of Cape Coast. Of a university in Ghana. Okay, yeah. you can put it that way. Mm. You know, of a university in Ghana, mm. a university of that stature. Mm. Okay, so we are talking about an academic of high repute. Okay, that is the candidate the NDC has. The NDC has a high quality running mate. I am not talking about her as a woman, but as a person, a very high achieving individual. Mm. That is the candidate the NDC has. The earlier they embrace this and start work, the better for them as a party. Okay. So very first point is that is the quality of the person involved. Yes. Okay. So the NDC, I repeat it again, that they should understand that they are blessed to have Professor Jena no Poko Ajiman in their party. Okay. Then the second thing I will talk about is the fact that she is a woman. It even makes it better. Okay. That is like the most important ingredient in the soup. Okay. So her presence on the ticket of the NDC presents Ghana with an opportunity to make history. A relevant history at that. So her being a woman is a plus. Okay. That is the second thing I would say. Okay. Then I'll move to the third. I told you I've written down a lot of things. The third thing I will say is that the NDC must understand that they have a leader. They have chosen a leader, not a campaign tool. A leader, not a campaign tool. Mm. They have chosen a leader. Not a campaign tool. See, Senna, Professor Jinnano Pokwajiman's value system, her hunger for excellence, her down to earth nature, and her track record in leadership are what we need as a country. This is what we need to take us out of the gutter that we have been pushed into by the current government. Let me repeat it again. Her hunger for excellence, her value system, her track record in leadership and her down-to-earth nature 
It's what we need as a country at this point. Okay. So, she's important to our match moving forward. Okay. So the NDC must understand that they've chosen a leader, not a campaign too. Simple. Okay. And having said that, I'll try to address few issues. And like I said, the NDC picked well. Okay. They nominated the right person. They need to understand that. Okay. They have a marketable candidate. They can sell her from different perspectives. Her high achieving career, her integrity, her personal values, leadership track record, all of those they can sell. Mm-hmm. And the fact that she would be breaking another glass ceiling. It's a plus. There's so much to sell about Professor Jinan Opokwajiman. The NDC must understand this. Second, if there's anything I would advise the NDC to learn from the NPP, it says they are selling skills. Selling skills. Mm. Seriously, Senna. It is getting so annoying that the NDC has complained about everything and everyone they have elected. Even John Dramani Mahama has not been spared. It is either eh, they have elected a person and the person is not doing well, the person is not campaigning, the person is not talking, the person is not doing that. If there is anything I would ask the NDC or advise the NDC to learn from the MPPs, they are selling skills. If the MPP could sell a Kufuado for you to buy, if they are selling Dr. Baumia to a point that people we look up to, we trusted some right-thinking members of this country, some of them with very high educational background, are believing that Dr. Baumia is the right person to take over from Nane Kufuado. They are getting something right. In fact, they sold Kennedy Japan and made him look so beautiful that people were buying. Then you have Professor Jaina Nopokwajim and you are telling me what? If there is anything I advise the NDC to learn from the NPP, it is their selling skills. So, they have a quality a high quality material that they can sell, they should be doing their work. They should be looking for a proper, professional political communication strategist. That's all they need. That brings me to, let me say my last point. Mm. The claim that Professor Jaina Nopogwajiman didn't bring anything to the 2020 campaign. I think that is a baseless claim. Very baseless one. What is the basis for such a claim? And I think that the people who are carrying that narrative should give us their basis, then we can talk. They should provide us their basis, then we can talk about it. Like, we would sit down and discuss that issue. The fact that they claim that the woman did not bring anything to the campaign in 2020. Very baseless claim. Come to think of it, the only running mate that made a huge bang when he was first appointed is John Dramani Mahama. A running mate. Yes. When they selected for the first, first time. First time. And he delivered. made a huge bang. He delivered John Dramani Mahama. His relevance and impact on the 2008 or the campaign 
for yeah. the 20, uh, 2008, 2008 yeah. elections. Yeah. I recall vividly. I mean, has not been replicated by any other running mate. Tell me, who? And you and I can understand why. He was a thoroughbred politician. And so he understood the grounds. He knew the playing ground so well. From uh, district assembly, parliament, ministry, before his nomination. And so you can understand. He understood the terrain. He knew what he's supposed to say at what point and not. So you can understand. And that thing, no other running mate has been able to deliver like that. First time. First time. And the person, I mean, delivered, hands down, was John Mahama. No other person has been able to do that. And that's why I'm telling you that we know why that happened. He rose through the ranks. He understood the area where he was. He knew the playground. That reminds me of the first outing of Dr. Baumia. Very quiet and disappointing. You remember when he was introduced the first time? He, he couldn't even say anything. It was very disappointing. It wasn't better the second time. It wasn't until the third time. And even that, now he's paying for the recklessness he came up with in when he like he came for the third time. He's paying for it. So I don't get it when people are coming to the, like you are expecting that some magic should happen. I recall so vividly the same Baumia that you people uh, are com trying to compare somebody with. That people so like they are expecting that Prof should mount a campaign platform and be reckless. Then you know that you have a running meet. Come on, you are better than that as a party. So the NDC has a such high quality running meet. Now they need to choose carefully the team around here. No amateur politicians this time around. You see this, my mouth. I know it has landed me in trouble. I mean, it's, uh, cool. But you see, truth is one. And some of us, when we see it, we say it exactly how it is. And in some quarters, it has created uh, what dislike for us. We don't care. We we'll still say it. It is the truth. People don't want to hear it, but we we'll say it. See, I have heard things. Some say that Okujetoa blah 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 with the campaign in 2020. Let me tell you, those of you making such claims. If Sami Okudeto Ablakwa was not part of the campaign of Professor Jinano Bukwajima in 2020, things would have turned worse. Take it from me. I am saying it. I'm not saying it because I have heard I was there and I saw. And I'm telling you. So those of you going to town with the fact that um, some Okujeto Ablakwa has taken over Prof's campaign, I'm telling you again that if the guy was not part of that campaign, it would have turned worse. It would have been worse. Like I said, Tena, no amateur politicians, no lazy slay queens around Prof this time around. You see, there are slay queens... When they slay and you see them, you admire them. And when there's time to work, they clean their makeup, they remove their, their, their heels and they are in the gutters. They are cleaning the gutters with you. Those ones, yes. But the ones who are about the soft life, 247, all they do is to slay. We don't need those people around Prof this time around. You do not come on a campaign grounds with your six inches heels with your makeup like you are contesting miss ghana riding in a tear rubber uh, what we call range rover and coming to tell somebody that the economy is bad and that things are hard in this country and you expect that somebody will believe you no 
We don't need those people around Prof this time around. You see, Senna, this is politics. It is not about fine English and all. You can be speaking your fine English and not making any impact. You are not delivering. You do not take me as your spokesperson, Senna, that you are the running mate. Nancy, come and be my spokesperson because I think that for some time that they say that as for the journalists, they must be neutral. And so they should stay somewhere and be neutral and do their work. I think that if you come and be my spokesperson, I'll be drawing support from the media. I come as a journalist, as your spokesperson. And when I get the opportunity to speak, I don't say anything about you. You are running on a ticket of the NDC. Your spokesperson is shy of your colors. What, are they, what is their colors? White red green and uh, black is also in there your spokesperson is shy of your colors what are you trying to achieve say it again no amateur politicians they should stay i mean in their offices when the ndc wins power and they feel that they are capable of doing one two three and they can give them appointment so be it this is campaign let people who are ready to work be around the woman and work for her we don't need any lazy person who does not understand what politics is around the woman. And such a person that when people who know what politics are, is about are trying to help, will not let them help. We do not need such people around Prof this time around. I'm telling you. As a spokesperson for a running mate, I'm expecting that I go onto your social media platforms and I see things about your boss. If you are scared or shy of the NDC colors, you don't have any, I mean, anything doing being a spokesperson for a running mate or being in the campaign team of the running mate of the party. You are shy of the party. You are shy of the colors of the party. Who should... No amateur politicians. They should not come close to the woman this time around. Then after all that, they'll come and tell you that she didn't bring anything to the table. You remember when I went for the first round and I came back? I had a fight with Bwachi the first time. My brother and I had to fight. Because he said, Nancy, you are going for the next year. I said, I will not go. I love Professor Jena Nopokwajiman. I believe in the woman. I know what she's capable of doing. But I will not go for the second trip. And I did not. You see, if you don't know something and they give you the opportunity to run something, when you do not know, you ask. You do not take over and be a boss that people see I, I i am pushed to say things i don't understand why prof should be having four separate team of photographers two separate team of videographers everything on a campaign there was no coordination I am saying again that Prof does not need any amateur politicians. Don't bring them. See, then allow her to run by herself. So I am waiting to see the people they will push for her. Because I'm not sure she will pick. Maybe she can say that, okay, I think this person or, or that. But the party as an entity will be forming a campaign team around her. I'm waiting to see. No sla lazy slay queens. There are slay queens who are hardworking. No lazy slay queens. No amateur politicians. I am done. Lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. Where you have nothing on, on, to on say. On no one can hear you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The one side, the one side, no slay queens. And what's happening about slay queens, you're mutu. You're slay queens, you're what? I'm going to do my part. And you're slay queens, you're what? I'm going to do my part. I'm with that, sir. I'm sorry. Normally, make up a young man, make up no. A chain cement bag me and son. Ope power beat me, a dear seed dying. No, my young man, you know, make up. No, my share, heal. Heal pencil one. 
I don't know who just want to say. I want you careful now. Night to see see pair. Who? The one the villagers don't like. Aha. And you know see no slay queens. And I say about see no lazy slay queens. And I say a sign what politicians be or what. Omo no move fishy sir. I feel no move bum. Cut off from over. Aha. So a name may be or what. I was some of the boy man. I mean a human being. But the bar last time on the day. On person be saying a who be. Aha. Omo man the human man. I mean the human. Aye. Dim. Pa 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 pa. Mami also no, or a fine lady. Fine lady. And from so be any mami who or dear cobra. Why? I was not there. <laughs> Nancy was the reporter. <laughs> okay. We'll tell the story someday. <laughs>